Hello everyone, MC Tamarasan here from Chennai Event MC's Entertainers and Professionals, uh, online uh, event anchor and also online event organizer and the founder of the above brands. Uh, uh, today in this uh, online MCing uh, live, uh, what I'm going to share is 5 important tips or 5 important features on an, on an online anchor should know uh, to uh, conduct the event effectively. So basically he or she should know the uh, login procedure when he uses uh, Zoom uh, features. Uh, First thing is logging in whether for himself or even if it's go if he's going to suggest to other participants he should know the login procedure whether they're going to log in with the link or whether they're going to use the username and password or whether they're going to share their email address because the participants may have so many doubts like what is the screen name what is the email address they should use whether they should use the zoom email address or their personal email address so you need to clarify this actually you may think that i'm an event anchor online anchor i would have already logged in why should i bother about the login details sometimes it would act as an online event organizer as well sometimes uh, once people have logged in they may also raise the issue that uh, one of my friends is not able to log in what is the turnaround so in such cases we can help them what are the other ways or what are the alternate methods they need to log in or what are the usual challenges that would be found so in this live i'm not going to deal uh, with everything in detail i'm just uh, touching the basic things about uh, each features so that you can do uh, research online or you can attend any special programs and uh, get to know uh, more about these things so the first point is uh, knowing about the zoom login details second thing is you should know about the host and the co-host future most of the time event anchor uh, you will not be uh, using your zoom to conduct the event or rather the client would be client or the event manager would be providing you the platform so as soon as you log in you should get the host or the co-host access because you are going to control the entire show uh, whether you are going to mute the audience or whether you are going to allow someone to share screen or whether you are going to make someone talk mc is going to take care of the control so mc should mc should have the uh, control option so which is uh, nothing but getting the co-host or the host option so you have to make sure that as soon as you log in you get that access and third you should know when to mute and when to unmute the audience and we have to inform all these things in advance to the audience that uh, this is what i'm going to do when i'm going to mute you when i'm going to unmute you if you want to be unmuted uh, what are the measures you should take like you can message me in chat box or whatever the instruction you're going to give them this is very important because uh, uh, whenever the session is going on if someone is going to unmute themselves and talk or someone has opened their video and uh, something else is happening at their room uh, which cannot be shared to the public so in the case mc has to monitor and you have to make sure that you turn off others video and also you keep everyone on mute that's third important feature handling uh, this mute and unmute option and also of course an external version is handling the uh, video features of your participants as well and fourth is handling the chat uh, you should know uh, how to handle the chat window because sometimes you will be getting a lot of messages in the chat and sometimes uh, audience may not be knowing you where the chat window is there so you need to guide them as well so this all these things i put in a nutshell like uh, giving the technical assistance to the audience as soon as you start your introduction you will explain all these features to the audience so that they are aware and they are comfortable and they can handle the chat or whatever the screen comfortably and the last important thing uh, is the screen share uh, you should know how to share the screen and uh, what would be shown to the audience what would not be shown to the audience same way you should also know when a uh, uh, trainer or the other end of the speaker is sharing the screen if you face some challenges you should know how to address it so once again i'm saying i'm not touching everything deeper here i'm not giving the complete solution i'm just telling you what are the uh, features where you should be focusing on and uh, where you should learn more so because in a lot of my webinars i used to see these uh, challenges especially when compass screen share when the trainer struggles so they're sitting uh, here uh, sitting in my home i can guide the trainer this is what the exact problem is sir you can do so and so one simple example i can teach you here is when the screen share is on if the trainer clicks the chat button uh, he may not get the chat window immediately so he need to he needs to click the participant icon and then he needs to click the chat icon now so this is one simple turnaround i tell my trainers or the speakers same way you should know you should explore you should have explored all these options so that sitting at home you can guide your other end speaker or the trainer so that they can solve the technical issues and run the event smoothly so these five are the basic features you should know first thing is the login issue, login details i wouldn't say it as issue login details and uh, getting the host and co-host access mute uh, muting and unmuting the uh, audience or the participants whenever is needed and when you are going to give the instruction to them fourth uh, knowing about the chat functionality where to find the chat and uh, how good you are going to, uh, how good you are uh, comfortable in chatting and fifth one is about the screen share and sixth the bonus tips which i mentioned in my description recording feature uh, most of the time you may need the recording uh, for your uh, own uh, promotion purpose or sometimes you need to guide your client to turn on the recording to get the complete recording of the event so you should be always responsible 
even professional whether it's your own event or you are just going, going as an anchor all these things an event anchor has to do because if it's an offline event for everything you have a support person like for lights you have a support person for audio and mic there is a support person for the stage there is a support person but in a virtual event almost like 90% of the work would be taken care by the event anchor so you should know all these technical features as well so i'll be sharing more tips in my future webinars and also there will be some exclusive webinars conducted for zoom and also for online anchoring you can do or take part in those webinars as well thank you so much mc tamarasan signing off you can contact me on my mobile number 9003087198 alternate number 8610257395 you can get to know more about us in our website chennaiwanprofessionals.com you can like our facebook page chennaiwan professionals and you can watch our videos in our youtube channel chennaiwan professionals and chennaiwan tmc